And now, Schemer presents a series of really worthwhile buying, can't miss inspirational video lessons that sometimes teach you stuff. Produced by Schemer, written by Schemer, directed by Schemer, and starring Schemer as himself. Taped on location in his very own room. And now, let's join me. Oh. oh, hello, and welcome to Schemer Presents. As usual, I am, as it were, so to speak, Schemer. Uh, this? Well, it's, uh, it's big, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's called the Oxford uh, Anthology of Intelligent Writing. Uh, I say I think because uh, <laughs> I'm not actually reading it. <laughs> what I'm actually reading is this. How to Make Money by Brushing Your Teeth. <laughs> it's a classic. I read it once a year. Still, I want you to think I'm reading the big book because, uh, well, it has to do with today's lesson, which happens to be how to be smart. Now, <laughs> there's uh, lots of reasons why it's so important to be smart. And uh, to help you understand that, well, I brought along a very scientific chart to help explain things. All right, now, Smart people like you. Here we are. Ready? If you are smart, then people will say, wow, and they will like you, which will cause other people to think you are smart, which makes them say, wow, and they will also like you, and around infantentamentum for a long time. Well, but it doesn't really matter if you're smart. See, as long as people think that you're smart. That's why today's real lesson is how to seem to be smart. <laughs> now, there are two basic ways to seem smarter than you actually are. One is uh, to have things around, and the other is to have things to say. Let's start with the things that you must have around. Now, take this. This is chess. It's a very, mmm, it's a very smart game. <laughs> But I know what you're saying to me. You're saying, now, Schemer, what happens if I don't know how to play chess? Well, that's no problem. If somebody asks you to play chess, you simply turn to them and say, Oh, no, I'm not in a chessy mood today. Ah, here's another thing you want to have around. A big book by Shakespeare. Carry it around wherever you go. If you want people to think you're smart, you simply say to them, Hmm, that reminds me of a big book by Shakespeare. All right, <laughs> another thing you want to have around is this, art. People think you're a real brain if you have stuff like this around and like it. Now, even if you don't have a lot of these smart kind of objects around, there are a number of things that you can say that sound smart and it impresses people thinking that you are smart by saying them. So instead of saying, uh, gee whiz, or says you, or uh -huh, say something like, huh. How terribly interesting. Or, uh, I think that's a matter of opinion. Or, uh, I couldn't agree more. Hello? Mr. Schemer, I'd like to talk to you about the Encyclopedia Americanica. <laughs> this is perfect. It's a lady selling encyclopedias. Now watch me use my technique to make her think that I'm really smart. Oh, come in, miss. Ms. Smith, are you familiar with our encyclopedias? Oh. I have a chess set. Oh, do you play too? Not today. I'm not in a chessy mood. Oh, and I can't play when I'm working. Not that I wouldn't love to. Ah, love. That reminds me of a big book by Shakespeare. That which love can do. Love must do. Huh? That's from Romeo and Juliet. Ah, oh, them. Ah, oh. oh, that is good art. Hmm. Whistler's mother. Who's mommy? Whistler's mommy. The painter was named Whistler, and the painting is called Whistler's mother. Ah. Oh. I think that's a matter of opinion, don't you? 
No, it's a matter of fact. Ah, how terribly interesting. Mr. Schemer, you don't really understand what we're talking about, do you? I couldn't agree more. Well, no, not really. But at least I'm trying to fake it. Fake it? Why would you want to fake being smart? When people find out the truth, they won't have any respect for you. Yeah, but if you don't know something, everybody is going to think that you're dumb. They won't think you're dumb. They'll think you're smart because you're not afraid to ask questions. And the more questions you ask, the smarter you actually will be. Really? Mm-hmm. You think so? Mm-hmm. It's good to ask questions? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it makes you smarter? Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Being smart, it's all up here. Asking questions is nothing to fear. The more you ask, the more you know. Then your brain will grow and grow. Your brain will grow. Your brain will grow. By asking questions, your brain will go. Oh. Well, that's more or less what I said. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to work. Oh, well, uh, I like this question thing. I, uh... I sure am a good question asker, aren't I? Yes. It's good to ask questions, isn't it? Well, I'm pretty good at that, aren't I? Well, speaking of I, I hope to be seeing you seeing me next time. Schemer presents, Schemer presents, right? <laughs> oh, oh, there you are. Listen, I, I do have a really important question for you. I have a very important question. Yes. Oh, oh, what was the first question ever asked? Oh, I don't know, but if and you buy this... And who asked it? Again, if you buy this encyclopedia... And I'm sure... what was the answer? <laughs>